Hi guys, it's Tana Mojo, and today's video is going to be another rant video. These past few days have been frustrating to say the least, and I know there are some people out there that do not enjoy my rant videos, especially my guru gossip forum. Shouts out to you. But really, a lot of people do not enjoy my rants. And I just want to say that a lot of people really think that I'm being like spoiled or like first world problem y and like. You know what I mean? Like, ungrateful, a brat, like, bitchy, like, blah, 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 like, all that stuff. But I'm not ungrateful. I have worked for everything I have my entire life. I'm not relying on anyone else. My parents never, like, gave me everything. Like, I've always been a really, really hard worker. I work for everything in my life. I'm very, very grateful to God for the life that he has blessed me. Don't think that I'm being ungrateful. Everyone has first world problems. And most people get angered by their first world problems. I just happen to have a YouTube channel where I like to rant about them. A lot of people make rant videos. And I just want to say that everything in this video is 100% entirely my fault. This rant should literally be titled like, I'm a dumbass. So don't think I'm blaming anyone else for these problems either. And that I think that I'm like entitled somehow like... I'm literally a fucking idiot, so that's really the point of this video, but if you enjoy rants, please feel free to keep watching. I'm gonna use some profanity, but I use profanity in all my videos, so like... This all started like two days ago. I needed to buy a printer, and <laughs> I've needed a printer since I moved into my house. I've lived here for like two months, I don't have one, and I never took the one from my old house because it was just like a falling apart, never working piece of shit. Like you would buy new ink for it and it wouldn't even like take the ink. Like I really, really needed a new printer and I've just kind of been like bumming off of everybody else and like using their printers and like not having my own because like I just like hadn't gotten around to buying one. But finally this week I had like 10 different things to print and I was like, okay, this is getting like a little bit out of hand. Like just go buy like a shitty little printer. It's not like I need something crazy. I just need like a fucking wireless printer. Two days ago, three days ago, something like that. I went to Target and I was originally going to buy like the cheapest printer that they had to offer. And I got there and I was looking at the printers and like I was like, what the fuck is an Epson? Okay, I'm not going to like spend my money on random brands. You know, that's dumb. So I was like, okay, I'm going to get an HP because I've always gotten HP printers and like I like them I think they work well they come with free ink most of them like it's a good deal so I picked out an HP printer that was $99.99 and it came with $40 worth of ink so it was a really really good deal it made the printer only $60 I got $40 worth of ink like I was game it was really nice like it scanned it did everything it printed from like two sections you know so I get this printer, it's $100, I leave. So I went home, I'm so excited about my new printer, like so fucking pumped to just open this, get my shit done. I adulted for once, I'm proud of myself. I bought a motherfucking printer, okay? So I ride my little dick ass Uber home, and then I'm here and I'm ready to use my printer. So I open the box and I'm so excited, and the first thing, immediate red flag, I am alarmed, I am frustrated. The styrofoam holding the printer literally looks like it was mauled by a fucking grizzly bear. Like just torn into pieces, just obliterated, just fucking look like you put it in a blender, a fucking juicer, a fucking bullet, like done for. But whatever, I don't care, like not a big deal. So then I go into the packaging and everything is blue taped together. Like you know the tape, like when someone returns something to a store and the customer service person is like, hmm, this is okay to put back on the shelf. They use that shitty ass blue tape to tape everything together and put it back on the shelf, you know? It was that blue tape. So immediately I knew that this had been returned by a customer, hence the bad styrofoam, hence the blue tape. But whatever, like apparently, like that doesn't really mean anything, you know, like it could still work. I don't really care. Then the ink cartridges are opened and I'm like, really, really bitch, like really? So I'm a little bit peeved, but whatever, like this is all minuscule things. I have a printer. I'm so happy. So I plug the printer in and I get it all set up. It is a beautiful printer, like aesthetically pleasing as fuck. It's like glossy black, matte black, nice touch screen, wireless. So it just sits there all pretty on the counter. You know what I mean? Like great, so happy. I start setting it up. I fill out all my information. Like I am excited. And then there's a problem. And so this printer is a wireless printer. Therefore, it needs Wi-Fi. The printer cannot work with wires. It is wireless. It needs Wi-Fi. Guess what it won't do? Connect to a Wi-Fi network. And I know that my Wi-Fi network was working because like all of my other stuff 
was connected to it, like my computers, my phone, like my friends' phones, you know what I mean? Like my Wi-Fi is working fine. So I'm sitting here with this printer over and over and over and over and over again, trying to connect it to Wi-Fi because it's a wireless printer and it won't connect. I'm Googling it, like that happens apparently sometimes with HP printers, like if they stop the connectivity little like wire router dick ass thing that like connects to the Wi-Fi won't work. So the printer is completely useless because like I said, it is a wireless printer that does not connect to Wi-Fi. So I'm like, okay, great. So then I start searching for the receipt to return this because it literally has absolutely no use, absolutely no value. It literally is as good as a cup of water for printing paper, like does not work. So I'm looking for the receipt and I'm gonna tell you a fun fact about me. I save every receipt I ever get. Like I don't care if I'm literally buying a cucumber, I will save the receipt for it. I don't care if I'm buying Q-tips, I will save the receipts for them. But every time I buy something that is worth anything at all, I need to return or I need to save the receipt for, I lose the motherfucking receipt because that is the story of my life. I search my house, I search my bag, whatever. It's gone. Don't know. Probably left it in the Uber because I'm an idiot. So now I'm like, okay, Target has a decent return policy. Sometimes if you're lucky, you can bring in an item that like you don't have a receipt for, but you want to return and they'll give you store credit. So I go into the store with all my stuff now. Hoping and praying that they will like help me out a little bit because I mean I did buy a completely damaged item that does not work at all and the packaging was literally mauled by an animal like not literally but you know so like I was really hoping they could help me out you know so I go into the Target customer service and this lady working the customer service you know when you just look at someone and they just look like a tough ass bitch like they just look like they're having no shit she was that person she was perfect for her job she probably saves Target a lot of fucking money because she does not she's not having it she doesn't feel sorry for your story she doesn't care about your past she doesn't care that you bought a damaged item like she was one of those people and I'm not hating on her not talking shit at all like she does her job very 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 well you know so basically I explain my whole problem with this printer. I bought a completely damaged item that does not work at all, completely faulty, does nothing, was obviously returned for that reason the first time, and then they put it back on the shelf for me to buy. I don't have the receipt, but can you help me out? I'm literally just going to go get another printer. Like, help me. And at first, she's like, no, sorry, like, no, sorry. And I sit there, and I'm, I'm not, like, bickering with her. I'm very nice. Like, please, thank you. Like, please help me out, you know? And finally, she's like, okay, we'll give you the credit back. Can you show me the debit card that you bought this with? Guess what's not in my purse? The debit card. Guess what's not in the car? The debit card. Guess what I don't motherfucking have? The debit card. By the way, side note to my shitty week, still haven't found the debit card three days later. Lost it, have to get a new one, but like whatever. That's not this story. So I don't have the debit card. And she's like, well, then we can't do it. And I'm like, Dude, I'm sorry, like, can you please just help me out? Like, I bought an item that somebody returned that is really, really shitty, and you guys put back out on the shelf. And then this is where she hit me with the one thing that really, really annoyed me. Like, just really, really, like, grinded my gears. That's fine. You don't have to do the return. I don't have the receipt. It is my bad. My fault. I'm an idiot. Whatever. But, like, it's also a little bit you guys is bad because you put the product back on the shelf to buy when it doesn't work. And she hits me with the, I don't think anybody returned this, dear, sweetie. I think the manufacturer sent us the product like this. No, there was blue tape all over it. Like, the styrofoam was fucked up. The ink cartridges were open. Like, I'm pretty sure someone returned this. You'd be surprised what the manufacturer sends us here at Target. We would never put that back on the shelf. Bitch, what? Do you think some worker at HP was like, oh, let me just open this ink cartridge. I wonder what it looks like. I don't see a thousand of these a day. Oh, okay, I know what it looks like. Let me put it back in the packaging. Off to Target. Let me take some dick-ass blue tape and tape all this up for no reason. Off to Target. Let me maul this styrofoam with my bare hands. Oh, off to Target. Like, fuck you. Obviously, somebody returned it. You don't have to, like, lie to my face. Like, what do you mean? Whatever. So after like 10 minutes of this, she's like, okay, I can give you $50, half of what I paid, a little bit shitty. However, that's all I deserved. I didn't have the receipt. Like, I'm appreciative that they were even able to give me that. Like, good enough, whatever. I'm over it. I don't want to be rude to anyone. Like, I just want to be nice and get it over with. So I get the little 
store return card. And I go pick out a cheaper printer because this time I'm just not having it. I'm not going to buy another $100 printer. So I buy a Canon printer. When I like Canon. I've used Canon cameras before. Like, it's a good brand. I'm over HP shit right now. I, it's not even their fault, but like, I don't know. I just like was like, okay, I'll get a different brand. It was also only like 60, 70, something like that. Like, in that range, dollars. And it came with ink. So I get this printer, I use my store return card, I shop around Target, like get my shit, check out, go home. I'm a little bit frustrated but happy that I have a working printer now and like I go home. So I set this printer up and it is late. Like we left Target when it was closing, we then went to Tropical Smoothie afterwards, stopped by my dad's house afterwards, like did a bunch of other shit. So it was like going on like 1 or 2 a.m. probably. So I'm just exhausted. I'm especially exhausted with this like printer situation and I'm just frustrated. So we get home and we plug it in and we get it all set up. It's a really, really beautiful printer. It's still sitting over there if you're wondering why I'm looking that way. I, I have to go return that. And it's, that's not gonna happen though. <laughs> it's really nice. So I plug it in, I'm excited, whatever. I put the disc in my computer that comes with like the printer, you know? And then I download all this stuff for hours, like literally hours. It's 1 a.m. when I start, it's now like three because this download is like taking so long. And after the two hour download for this Canon printer, it's oh, not compatible with your computer. Look it up. This printer is not compatible whatsoever with Mac computers. Guess who doesn't have a PC? Tana doesn't have a PC. So now I bought a printer that is completely incompatible with my computer whatsoever and on the way out of Target when I bought this printer I was like you know what I'm not gonna need this receipt I already returned the shitty printer I'm gonna use this one and it'll work fine and I threw the goddamn receipt out of the window so guess what I'm gonna get for this printer half of $60 so once I come back to you with my $40 printer hopefully that one will work because we've had two really shitty ones so moral of the story is save your receipts I'm an idiot buy printers that work Target likes to put things on the shelves that have been returned um yeah I hate my life right now so I hope you guys enjoyed this rant take everything with a grain of salt please don't think that I'm just like a butthurt ass bitch I love my life very thankful first world problems with Tana all right, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to subscribe. Make sure to follow me on all my social media in the comments below. You can go ahead and leave me some comments of any first world problems that you've been having this week if you'd like to share with me. And I will talk to you guys in the next video. Bye.